quick video today just to show you how to change the rear wiper blade and arm on a Land Rover Discovery 3 or 4. You can see our one here is getting a little bit of a mess. I haven't looked at it too closely yet. Um, my, our car is over 10 years old now. It's 2005, so we're going to change the, blade, the, the arm. The arms can lose their mojo a bit. They lose their spring, and they can start to rust. This one's not too bad, actually, but we'll do it all. We'll put a new one on because we've smartened up the back of the car and we'd also replace the caps. There's actually three bits involved here. You've got this little plastic cap here, which has a little, has a little sort of screwdriver slot there you can see at the top. Um, you can get there and pull that slot out. Sometimes you can do it with your finger. Often these are missing uh, and they, they fade. So there's the little cap. I said to remove that, but yeah. Um, so you've got the cap, you've got the arm itself, and then you've got the wiper blade, which is this little bit that wobbles about here. Now the wiper blades unclip, so let's have a go at doing that, shall we? Kate, you're going to come and hold the camera for a minute. Okay, so we'll put all the bits for sale online now, do you reckon? So they, they push that way, don't they, Kate? Let's yeah, have a look. We've got a little tab to... Oh, there we go. Look. Yeah, okay, so let's have a go with that. Oh. There he's going. I don't want him to. That's it. Right. Um, so yeah, what I did there was I got to push that little tab in there, and it released that little clip so that you can slide it down. But you have to slide it back into the car, back into the hinge, and then pull him out. And you can see there, Kate can show them that. There's a little hook there. So the new one would be a question of just popping that on. But we're gonna go one step further, and we're gonna actually remove this um this arm so we've got a socket here we've got a 13 millimeter socket um it's not it doesn't look too bad if it looks a bit rusty you might want to give it a clean or put some wd-40 now it's probably worth noting what angle it's at because when we put it back on we want to get it at the same angle so if you just do a shot from the back there kate it's pretty much parallel, isn't it, with the door there? Yeah. Right, the water doesn't come through the arm like it does on the Range Rover. The water comes, you probably can't see it because of the light, but there's a little nozzle at the top that squirts down. But you can you can see how poorly my, uh, my blade's been wiping the rear window. Can you get that in the camera? Right, so what you've got to do now is, is give it a bit of a wiggle, and, and then it should come out. So what have we got? We've got a little conical spline there, that's a good word, conical spline there um, that bite into them. Now it looks like it's got splines on here now. If I remember from when we did this on the Range Rover Sport, right, there's the nice new arm that Kate's got ready for us. There isn't actually a spline on there. So when you tighten the nut, this is aluminium and it actually forms its own spline. Um, so you can actually mount it any direction. So that was my point earlier about getting it exactly right. So let's put the nut back on. Right, and start winding that up. And when it starts getting tight, this is when we need to start making sure we've got it in exactly the right. We've got sort of infinite adjustment on it, really. That's it, I think it's getting it now. That's it. That perhaps a bit high? Yeah. Let's just get it. Is that right? No, I'm loosening it off again. I'm trying to get it. You've got to get it exactly right in that. There we go. So you want to get it reasonably tight because you're you're biting into it. Okay, and then the blade. So, you've got to make sure you get it with the little sort of section. So the blades we're supplying come pre-fitted with these. If you go to an accessory shop, often you'll get multiple fittings you'll have to work out. The ones we've got there are literally ready to fit, so we should just get that through. 
You see him behind there? Right, we'll sort of just guide him in, and we should hear him click. There you go. That's that, and then the cap. So a brand new cap, finishing touch. There we go, so that's the three-piece Discovery 3 for rear wiper replacement.